Camp Connect would like to welcome Ken Osso to our, our general session here this morning. And Ken, uh, just to start out, let's talk about your camp experience. Where did you go to camp? How many years did you work at camp? David, yeah, thanks for having me, and be glad to you know have this conversation with you. Yeah, so um, you know, I, I was born and raised in uh, Oregon, and uh, you know, I grew up in Portland, Oregon, and. Big Lake Youth Camp, you know, was the local camp, you know, in, in, in our region. Uh, and I had the pleasure of working four summers uh, at, at Big Lake from uh, summer of 1992, you know, through uh, the summer of 1997. Yeah. What roles did you have while you were there? You know, I, I came up, uh, you know, as a counselor and I worked for several summers, you know, as a counselor. And then I had two summers as the uh, program director, assistant director at Big Lake. Great. Um, and obviously, you have, um, you know, since your your camp days, you've you've moved into the the corporate world uh, on on several levels. Tell us a little bit about your experience um, in, in 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 corporate world and uh, kind of what your position is now. Very good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I've got you know over twenty years of kind of corporate kind of work experience. Um, you know, I graduated from Walla Walla with a business degree. You know, I worked first in the telecommunications industry in different strategic planning and product marketing roles. I continued on to get my MBA. I graduated from Dartmouth with my MBA in 2003. And so since then, it's about, you know, about 20 years, you know, of experience. Um, and, you know, I've worked both as a strategy consultant, you know, kind of working with kind of global Fortune 100, you know, clients, you know, around the world in various kind of strategy topics, um, and as I kind of grew through the ranks, you know, from an associate to a, a, an engagement manager to a partner, I started increasingly focusing on the aerospace, aviation and aerospace sector. And so, you know, when I left um, consulting, I had senior exec stints, you know, at a company called Standard Aero. I was senior vice president of their strategy, business development and customer support function. And then I also spent five years at Boeing. Uh, I was an executive uh, leading their strategy, their aftermarket strategy and business development function. And then I had a chance also to lead, you know, their aftermarket spare parts uh, business. That's a, you know, two and a half billion dollar uh, revenue stream and you know, an organization of about uh, three, three, four hundred people. Yeah. So you have ex extensive experience, ex extensive knowledge in, 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 in management, in the business world. And, and obviously there's so much of what you learned. You, you learn on the job, you learn through getting your MBA, but I, I want us to focus on camp um, and how that prepared you. What tools did you receive from camp in those four years that uh, opened the door for you to step into these roles and really be ahead of the game? Um, so often we, we hear that camp is you're just going to go have fun. But um, my guess is that camp gave you a tool set that prepared you. How did it do that? Yeah, it, it, great. And, and, and you're right. I mean, camp is so fun and I have such great memories and I, I maintain many very close relationships, you know, with people that I worked alongside with. And, you know, I consider those some of the my best days. Um, but also, I think I learned a ton and there was a, a ton of baseline professional skills that I was exposed to, forced to think about, you know, and then developed, um, you know, during those those summers um, at, at Big Lake. You know, I think one thing you know, is, you know, is about how to establish relationships, you know, um, you know, with 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 people, um, you know, how, how you how you influence, you know, others. That's really you know, important. You know, I learned a lesson from my boys director and the camp director early on during training where they said, you know, being a phenomenal counselor is being, you know, really melding a 40 percent, you know, drill sergeant and then being about a 60 percent grandmother. You have to love these kids. You have to yeah. love these campers. But you also need to establish what the structure is, what the rules are. And you need to be able to, you know, to demonstrate, you know, that you'll follow through when, when they aren't paying attention to the rules and, and you need to set that early. Right. And so, you know, getting the structure, you know, providing kind of a structure for others, you know, and, and, and the following through you know, is a really important kind of leadership concept. And once you have that down, you know, then you could just love on them. You could just have a great time, right. Knowing that there is a line uh, that has to be established. The other thing, you know, as I think about camp that, that continues to pervade as, I, as a professional is, um, you know, is kind of this apprenticeship model. 
and how to be a great apprentice. You know, and as you're thinking about roles like camp counselor, you know, as you think about roles in terms of, you know, being in the general staff, you know, and then evolving, you know, as you continue or, or you know, evolving into kind of leadership roles at camp, you have this apprenticeship model where those that have been there for many years, they know how things are done and they share with you. They can provide feedback to you. Uh, and then you in turn accelerate your own skills. You accelerate your own ability to, be, to do that job and, and, and embody that role in a skillful way. But then on the other side of the coin, there's an expectation that you will teach others as you learned from others. And so, you know, this model, this apprenticeship model of le learn one and then do one and then teach one and the ability, you know, to, um, to, to adapt, you know, in that kind of a model, I think is a really powerful uh, thing that you can bring into the business world um, as a junior person, as a mid-level and as an executive, you constantly need to learn how to learn, you know, do, and then teach. I also think there's a really important concept that I learned at camp about getting feedback. You know, a lot of people at camp, they've been very successful in what they've been doing. They've been in leadership roles, you know, in their, in their schools, in their churches, what's, you know, what, whatever it is. And then they come into camp and they're, been, and they're given pointed feedback. You know, the first report card uh, that I got, you know, two weeks in, three weeks in, I remember as an 18 year old camp counselor was, was pretty mediocre. I was not good, you know, at the job, you know, but, you know, I remember the way that that feedback was delivered to me, you know, like a grandmother, you, you can yeah. do it, you know, you need to do this better. You need to be more skillful, you know, in how you do these things, right? Discipline, structure, you know, how you, how you, how you impart your, your leadership style, you know, it, it actually set a, a mindset where I want feedback, yeah. you know, I'm thirsty for feedback and I wanted to embrace feedback, even though the feedback hurt, you know, at times you wanted that feedback and, and you're open to it because you know that actually feedback is a gift and feedback actually gives you, you know, of specific things that you can improve that makes you better, right? As a professional, makes you better in a particular role. And so that kind of apprenticeship model, I think is really powerful. You know, it's there at camp, and then it's there, uh, frankly, in, in the business world. Yeah. Do you find yourself as you stepped into the corporate world, uh, you know, out, out of college, out of your MBA saying, wow, I, I'm, ahead of, I'm ahead of the curve because I've, I've got some skills that maybe other people don't have. Even though you might not have learned the technical end of things at camp, the people skills got you ahead. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a, a great insightful point, you know, David. I think, you know, straight out of Wall Wall College and, and, you know, working summers at Big Lake, you know, I landed in, you know, some Fortune 500 telecoms companies you know, continued on to different, you know, companies, corporations, you know, and then consulting in, you know, dozens of countries, you know, around the world. What I felt was the kinds of leadership exposure that I had, you know, doing camp, but, but you know, other, other activities. I mentioned that I was a youth pastor, I was a student missionary, you know, during one of my years. It, it, it led me to become what I felt was advanced in terms of communicating advanced in terms of, you know, leadership and collaborative, you know, communication and collaborative teaming. It also led me to have a, a, a greater kind of conviction and kind of knowledge of who I was. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I think I was able to, you know, really, you know, c communicate, speak, you know, and, and present, you know, very, very effectively. I didn't have the technical skills that others who had summer internships, you know, you know, at, at different, you know, Fortune 500 companies had. You know, but what I had was, you know, an ability to present clearly, you know, and, and a confidence, you know, around that. And I learned the technical skills, you know, over time, but that teaming skills, the ability to communicate, the ability to build relationship, you know, and build affiliation within those teams, whether they're your formal teams or outside of your formal teams, those are really an edge, you know, that I feel like, you know, continues today, right? 20 yeah. plus years, you know, later in my career. Yeah. So uh, just to wrap up, what would you say to a young adult sitting here uh, at this virtual uh, Camp Connect event and wondering, what, should I work at camp? Should I get an internship? Should I do summer school? Why would camp be the option that you'd steer them towards? Yeah, I'd say that, you know, camp is a tremendous educational opportunity. 
as well as just you know tremendous spiritual you know development opportunity and personhood development opportunity you know and then you're learning skills right you're learning particular yeah. skills you know yeah. and yeah. and then beyond that it's just fun right, yeah, that's so, right. Man, if there are those who are wrestling between some great options you know i certainly can um you know can identify with that because you know people that are you know great talented people will have options that they can consider but yeah. i would never you know say that you know making the decision to go to camp is a deficient one right will right. actually hold you back you know right. in a certain way you know uh you, you learn tremendous skills and you know a lot about what camp is what you make of it um you know but with that said you know to dive into you know the camp environment um, you know, it, it's, it's tremendous, you know, professional and personal development. Uh, that's great. Ken, thanks so much for being here. Uh, I think your, your experience, your counsel, it will be really helpful for, for young, young adults that are wrestling with what to do this summer and uh, just uh, ask God's blessing as you continue on in your career. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks, David.